Hey guys, fun to be here back with another video in this video. I'm going to show you how to use the new navigation system in the Godot engine. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and get right into this. So you want to have a node on the thing you want to move and it is a navigation agent and you want to go into the avoidance settings and tick avoidance enabled to on without this being on it will not work so if it's off it won't move and then in your game scene you want to make sure the thing you are moving is a child of the navigation mesh instance and now you can go into your script and you need a few references the only two things you should need is a is a reference to the navigation agent so you can just go ahead and connect the velocity computed and navigation finished signals to itself you'll probably also need a speed and a velocity so move speed and vil and if you want to actually get this thing to move to a position you need a target and in the ready function i just set the move speed to the data dump move speed and then when we go to our moving state do moving i get the next position in the path so i get dollar sign navigation agent dot get next location this will get the next point we need to go into the path and then i get a direction variable uh i'm actually redefining this well i never actually defined it to begin with so i'm creating a direction variable and i set it to the global transform dot origin dot direction two and the next node in path and then i create another variable called steering and i just say dir direction so dir minus vel times delta times move speed so this vel is a variable that gets defined somewhere else i can't actually find it currently so anyways we subtract that vel and then we just say vel plus equals steering and then i call this look while move function you don't have to call this but essentially what this does it is get moving in the direction it is looking and it's just a simple attan2 and negative vel dot x and negative vel dot z and then i call the navigation agent and then i say hey set velocity and then i use vel delta and then move speed and then i also have a function called move two this is what the rts camera controller actually calls on and it just sets the target location on the navigation agent and it's just the target pause of location and then this is a signal function so when the navigation agent computes a velocity i just say move and salt, move and collide safe velocity and then when it finishes i just set state depending on what the state was previously so if it was moving to attack then it will say state is equal to state attacking if it was just moving then it would set its state to idle and that vil uh doesn't actually get defined it's just an empty vector three so that's really it if you have set up everything so the agent is child of the navigation mesh instance you have avoidance turned on you have this uh calculation going down here then it should all work and you should be able to click on units and play with them so if i go into the game here you should be able to click on the units and tell them where to go and currently my rts game is open source so if you want to take a look at the code yourself you can the link will be in the description below so feel free to check it out start on github anyways that's all from me for now funnyber out